Well, you know, many people will be celebrating today for Cinco de Mayo, of course, but exactly how big is that party? I actually break down what Cinco de Mayo really means and how much Americans are consuming today. Living in this Southwest, Cinco de Mayo celebrations are bigger and better. Let's be honest, how many of you out there really know what the significance of today is? Uh, you know, I forget the significance of it. Um, I, maybe independence of the Mexican country? I absolutely have no idea. Just a random day out of the month. Uh, each year, it's another day for people to party. Um, I believe it is when Mexico got their independence. Uh, is that their independence day? It's some type of celebration that they won something, but I don't know what it is. Everyone gets Cinco de Mayo confused with Mexican Independence Day, and it's not. Mexican Independence Day is September Day 16, and not Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is uh, the Battle of Puebla, where the Mexicans defeated the French. That is right. Now, even though the holiday is not nationally recognized throughout all of Mexico, here in the U.S., more than 50% of Americans are set to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. And the fact that this is the first time in six years it has also landed on Taco Tuesday, it makes for the ultimate Mexican mashup for people to celebrate. Just getting together and having fun. Guac, Guac chips, tacos. Uh, probably just go to some bar, maybe get some tacos. Drinking beer out of a sobrero. Margarita and a Corona. But move over, Margarita. Beer now accounts for 58% of alcohol sales on Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is our holiday. In fact, it's the fifth largest beer selling holiday in the United States, and it just beat out St. Patrick's Day and the Super Bowl. And if you enjoy some guacamole and chips with your beverage, you are not alone. Americans consume up to 81 million avocados on Cinco de Mayo. So however you decide to celebrate today, have a safe and fun holiday. Stay with us. We have more Morning Blend for you after the break.